Ortiz and Ramirez to follow. Oh, you taking your pictures? <laughs> yeah, they take pictures over there like crazy. You do the oldest public picture there is. <laughs> <laughs> the New York Times just left. Very good, very good. He's the oldest one there is. His mother was the oldest female butcher there was. Yeah. And he's busy watching television. That Aunt Dolly died, you know. Charlie's sister. Mary D. Cristino. She had Martha. Oh, yeah, Tony, yeah. Tony the Hunter. Yeah. Remember them? They used to live over here. Charlie yeah. Brody's uh, sister, she died uh, oh, yeah? two weeks ago, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Mary thought she was going to go before her. And Mark Dow lived on mother. Yeah. All right, what do I owe you? Go ahead, go home. All right, Mo, I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye. All right. My name is Mo. M-O-E. Mo Mo. My father he opened this first store in 1924 on Elizabeth Street. He came from Italy. He, that was his uh, occupation. He was a butcher. My mother was born here. In fact, she was born on this block, on Elizabeth Street. And my father told her, you ask the people what they want, and I cut the meat. And that's where the business started. Years ago, there were large families, mostly Italian families. They all had... Uh, three, four, five children, and they kept you busy. Now you have these young adults, and they don't have time to cook. And they don't know how to cook. They'll go and eat a, a fast food dinner there for about $10. We have uh, a few restaurants that uh, keep us uh, busy. You know? But uh, as you can see, it's, it's not too much of a retail trade, especially on a Saturday, which used to be one of our biggest days, is actually, I hate to tell you what's in the register. Because the people that come here, they got all boutiques. People come here shopping. They're not looking for a, a meat market, you know? Years ago, all these stores, all these boutiques, we didn't have that. You had the baker, you had the grocery store, you had the fish store, you had a meat store, you had a shoemaker. This is the only place left. This place has been here before uh, oh. Mom and Papa even thought about you. So I, I come in here all the time because the looks of this place, my father owned the fish market on Mott Street for 51 years. And he had like the same kind of floors and the same kind of scales and everything. It's, the only difference is he sells meat, my father sold fish. I hang out here because I feel like you know, I still have my family around. Yeah, he's like family to me. Yeah. My mother ran this shop until she was 97 years old. She had all her marbles. She used to sit outside, say hello to everybody. In fact, one day I went over to her, I told her, I said, Ma, it's afternoon, say good afternoon. Oh, okay, good afternoon, good afternoon. And uh, this was our life. My brother and I just uh, trying to carry on the tradition of, of keeping the store.